All right, well, good morning. So uh, I've had a lot of uh, questions on my videos for the audio upgrade uh, and the Clockworks windshield, but I wanted to talk specifically about the audio upgrade. Uh, so Carlos at NVS Audio designed this system to kind of go after the factory amplifier to where you can still use your radio. Um, and it basically takes signal before it goes to the speakers, reprocesses it, sends it back through the amp, and then pushes it back out to the speakers. So you're actually amplifying the Rockford uh, audio signal. So this is the amp. Uh, it's a Evo X2 800.4. Um, it is the only amp that I know of, or that Carlos has said will fit in here without major modifications to uh, this area right here. Um, but, uh, as you can see, you still need to keep the factory amp just tilted up vertically, but this fits perfectly in here. Uh, it's a real clean install. Um, you know, the DSP sits underneath, uh, this tray right here. These are all the RCA connections coming out of that DSP. Um, your speaker line over here. Uh, I'm running uh, tour pack and saddlebag speakers. So front, rear, power. I ran the power and ground through the frame rails, not underneath the backbone. So uh, there's plenty of room in there. But you do have to make some adjustment here for this amp to fit flush. Um, I took about maybe, I don't know, three quarters of an inch to an inch off. Uh, of the of the tray there. No big deal, it took me about five minutes and then I just painted over uh, where I dremeled out uh, that steel tray right there, if you can see it. Um, but yeah, and then <clears throat> the uh, everything's easy to adjust. I kind of like this one better than the 19 because you had to pull the headlight out and everything else to access the amp. Here, if I need to make adjustments, I can just come over here and adjust the gains or, or do whatever I need to do. Uh, the DSP is right behind the headlight right here. Um, there's plenty of room for it. It sits perfectly up inside there. Um, where you're limited is this plain space across here, right? So the fairing sits so low and it's so tight to these things that you don't have a whole lot of space above um, this amp for anything. Uh, in fact, I have to put my garage door opener right there. I tried it on the top here, uh, and I couldn't get the fairing to, to seat properly. Uh, I tried to stuff it underneath here, but for some reason I couldn't, I couldn't get it to go underneath there. So, uh, I put it right here and it works fine. Um, you know, coming around to the front. So here's the cicada speakers. Um, they look like they're behemoth, and, but the grills were designed in such a way that, uh, that they don't interfere. As long as you've got those notches clear for the speaker grill notches, uh, I found that you're, you're good to go. I did put a little spacer in between the uh, speaker and the grill to get them to fit, but they ended up working out uh, perfectly. Everything fits fine, no forcing, no nothing. Um, you can kind of see over here, uh, it's about a third of an inch, uh, 0 0.33, 0 0.35, something like that. Um, again, the Hertz speakers in the back, um, plenty of room. Uh, these sound good. Uh, the, uh, the base in these, uh, saddlebags is... I don't know what it is, but it, there's like a resonating sound, and I think it's because they're using uh, cheaper plastic than the, the older models, uh, or thinner plastic. I shouldn't say cheaper, but I think they're using thinner plastic. Uh, I did start to install the speaker pods on the tour pack, uh, and uh, put the Hertz speakers in the tour pack. This provides a ton of base just because they're ported and, and a lot of air room in there. Um, it really sounds amazing. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it, it is an easy install. Um, it, it's not 
difficult at all. It plugs into the factory speaker connections. You don't have to cut, you don't have to do anything uh, to the wire harness. It's truly plug and play. And Carlos is a genius for uh, figuring out good solutions without having to, um, you know, bastardize your, your factory wiring harness to get it to work. And I'll tell you, it's, it's clean. Um, it is probably one of the cleanest amp installs I've seen to where you don't have wires all bundled up, uh, everywhere, but yeah, it is a game changer as far as sound. Uh, again, I run it about half volume adjusted the gains to manipulate the uh the factory radio amp um after half volume it has a program that kind of boosts the bass uh so if you can adjust the gains to uh right around half volume being close to your max volume uh which is what carlos told me to do uh it, it's amazing uh and you don't get all of that extra base override from the factory amp. Uh, I know that Carlos said that eventually somebody will come out with a with an interface to get rid of this. Um, and I'm hoping that that is true. Uh, it'll open up the door for a whole lot more options, maybe, you know, a wider amp or, or mounting an amp, you know, vertically this way instead of horizontally this way, uh, maybe get a bigger amp, get some more power out of there. Uh, without having to do a whole lot more modifications and keeping it clean and simple. Uh, I have to tell you, uh, it, it really steps up the game as far as audio is concerned. So shout out to Carlos and his team at NVS Audio. Um, this really uh, brightened my, my trip uh, for sure. I was able to hear music uh, loud and clear. Um, and I know that there are, he has options for speakers. So if cicada is not for you or, or whatever, you want something that's truly, um, you know, waterproof, um, uh, he's got options. So this is not the only setup he does. He will build you whatever you want and guide you in the right direction without, uh, having to worry about if you've made the right choice or not. Um, he's done all the research, he's done all the testing. So... I would definitely uh, give him a shout. So hope this serves you guys well. Uh, I know that everybody want, kind of wanted to see what was going on with this. Um, it is uh, definitely worth the upgrade if you're going to upgrade your audio. Uh, go to Carlos NVS Audio and, and he'll take care of you. Hope you guys have a great weekend. See ya. Bye.